need to talk. That's never good. You made too many cameos with me this month, and after the cake incident, I have to shut down your account. You're kidding, right? It was one cake. One cake that There's ended up all over the office. There's still frosting in the conference room vents. I said I was sorry. And those cameos were. We need to talk. That's never good. Wow, we'll enemy. That's the phenomenal. Today. It's over. I mean, look at that. This is like a '90s Ghibli studio type of thing. Ah, look at that. Look at the book right here. If you use your reaction to ready a spell, that reaction is spent. Page 193 of the player's handbook. You can't ready fireball and then still cast shield in the same round. It literally says when you take the ready action, you use your reaction to cast the spell. Look at the book right here. If you use your reaction. So, opening eye drops Sora 2. They announced the live stream one hour before the live stream goes live. The one day I try to sleep in. Not happy. But putting aside how sudden the release was, I gotta say, this thing is impressive. Mark my words, the cameo feature is going to go big. If you haven't seen it, here's a brief clip. Everything is generated by Sora 2. One year ago, Sora 1 redefined what was possible with moving images. Today, we're announcing the Sora app, powered by the all-new Sora 2. It's the most powerful imagination engine ever built. And it's packed with new features. I'll pass it to Bill for more details. Now every video comes with sound. Sora 2 is also the state of the art for motion, physics IQ, and body mechanics, marking a giant leap forward in realism. That's why we're launching Sora 2 inside the Sora app, allowing everyone to push the limits of their imagination and create in ways we never thought possible. All right, that's pretty wild, right? You're able to upload your digital twin, put it in whatever scenario that you want, and then they see them play out that scenario live with, you know, visuals, voice, etc. One hour to live stream! I was sleeping. Here's what one of the employees at OpenAI posted. Again, it's Sora 2 and his cameo, and apparently another cameo makes a cameo. See if you can spot it. Sora launch video? Oh no, he already fell asleep. Well, maybe it's time for me to take a nap as well. That's kind of insane. Wow, we are in the 70s now. There he is! Move, move! Come on. Sora is launching now! <gasps> find the portal to the launch. It's somewhere in our office. I'll check this. I'll check straight. Nothing. Back. Still not it. Watch the plant. Sorry. Maybe down there. No sign. Keep moving. Right again. Up the stairs. This should be it. Oh, no. It's the official obstacles in office day. We need to get through. Wait, what? Just run with me. Who planned this? HR. I've had right, dreams like course. this. Watch the cones. Whoa, I'm in the back. Bolt it. Hurry up. Come on. I'm coming. Of course, the official obstacles in office day happens to be today. Minecraft portal. We finally made it to Imagination Land. Did we make it in time for the launch? You made it just in time. Wow, we have been working on this for so long. Yeah, Gabriel. Let's launch it. Thank you so much for watching my movie. Sword 2 has been one oh of the most cracked. fun. I'm pushing. Experiences Storm's in my life moving. Hold I on. Really appreciate one shot. One shot. All the support from Bill, Bill, another key. I'm going in. All right, come on. That's funny. Number one. I mean, that's Sam Alden playing 
victory royale and falling over. You can tell it's Sam Alvin because of the shoes. So you understand you can do this with your friends, family members. You can even put probably people you don't like in there. We'll see what kind of controls they have, but look at this close up. Him falling asleep, special effects, right? That harp playing, then all of a sudden he's racing. Look at that shot, that golden hour, the sunset. It's it's incredible, right? So he's racing a Lamborghini down the PCH or whatever. All of a sudden he's on a dragon, dragons reflecting in the windshield of the Lamborghini. Then he's riding the dragon falling onto a boat. It becomes like an eighties action movie, right? He escapes from the boat dives. You got this. I mean, look at that. This is absolutely out of this world. Like the physics, how well it simulates everything. He's swimming all of a sudden. What is that? A megalodon, a, some sort of stuff of nightmares that comes for him. And then he wakes up. This shot was incredible. Cause it's like, you can, you know, exactly who you're looking at this entire dream sequence. I mean, I don't know if you caught this, but the physics were excellent. Notice at the end, one of the balls hits him in the hand and, and notice how well everything responds. I mean, that's terrific. The, the entire dream sequence. I mean, I feel like I have had dreams like this when your mind knows you have to get somewhere, do something, you're freaking out, you're racing, your brain is trying to make sense of it. It's like a maze or whatever. This whole sequence is, is so bizarre. It's comical, but it's not, there's nothing off about it. I mean, it's, it's, it's silly, but it, it it's, it's real. Sam Altman twitching and getting all involved in a game. It's, it's kind of hard to overstate how good it is because keep in mind they created all these scenes with themselves as the characters. And now that's going to be rolling out to you and I and the entire world, which I guess brings us to the next point of how do you get it? So it's on the app store for iPhone. Once you get the app, you get an invite code. Once you get the invite code, you can use the desktop or Android or whatever else you want. So currently everyone is hunting for an invite code. But let's take a look at some of these examples that they give. Here's somebody skating with a cat on their head. Wow, that's actually Ready pretty good. Three, this two, looks one, absolutely go. realistic. Wow. Dude, right? I mean, that's indistinguishable from a real video. This one you can tell it's Whoa, fake. Steady. But just because of the situation, I feel like. Wow. Great anime. Wow. Puppers and tennis balls. Here's another anime. That's looking phenomenal. A Viking. Wow, that's really good. The the water droplets didn't look too great, but but still, it, it looks realistic. It doesn't look off. I'm blown away by the anime here. I mean, look at that. This is like a '90s. Ghibli studio type of thing. Ah, look at that. That's indistinguishable from what you would expect to see during that time Affirmative uh, in the anime. Each layer refines the representation, like polishing a gem. Then, maybe one day I'll build a network that understands every star. Next, we have this. We have underwater diving. Underwater scuba diver sounds of the coral reef. Knowledge is not a destination, it's a companion for the road. Multilingual. Gemeinsam gehen, lernen wir, dass jede Frage mehr Türen öffnet, als sie schließt. Das and ready, begin! Claymation. That's really good. One thing that I wanted to point out is in the claymation, 
notice how the sound of the orchestra really matches the actual animation. So when they when they lift up their violins, you sort of see the sound pitch go up. And ready, begin. And the speed of them playing goes up with the tempo of the music. I mean, that's pretty impressive, I gotta say. Get that back, come on. <laughs> that's mine. You hear me? My hat. Dad, it's ready to Come back here, you feathered thief. You're not gonna catch it. Oh, I'm trying. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Ah, thank you, Rocket. I owe you my life. Oh, Rocket! We're out here in the Pacific Northwest hunting for the legendary Bigfoot. The forest is perfect for hiding. I think I just found something. Look at the size of this hunting print. Hunting for Wait, Bigfoot. Did you see that? Something's moving over there. That's gotta be him. I'm going after it. Hey there, Traveler. This is kind of wild. Turns out I can actually fly. Watch. Ready? Look, totally off the ground. Let's go outside. The view up here is insane. I can just drift around like still figuring out the landing, but it's the best feeling ever. And as I'm recording this, an absolute miracle happens. This is Catherine's brain. Please follow her on Twitter slash X. She sent me a Sora 2 invite code and I am in. So please follow her. I think this proves the rule that if you just complain long enough, you get exactly what you wanted. All right, here is Sam Altman. Happy Sora 2 day, everyone. Was it called windsurfing, windboard? Bird boarding, whatever it is. So I think this is a reference to Mark Zuckerberg. Happy Sora Two Day, everyone! When he was doing this, very very cool. Hey, look at you dancing. Listen to that little electric whine. I'm gonna hang a left here. Let's That's pretty good. You don't see him talking, go, but 55. this right, is looking great. The, the, the actual video game is looking Jaguar. great. We need more GPUs. We need more GPUs. I need more GPUs. Marcy, what manner of carriage is this? You are riding with Waymo. Abraham Please Lincoln keep your seatbelt fastened. Waymo. It speaks, yet no driver sits yonder. The wheel turns of its own accord. Marcy. That's pretty good. That's too damn bad. I've been cutting sore clips. Here's a Sama undergoing his Pokemon evolution. Now he turns into Samama. Apparently. It's crazy loud in here, but I had to hop on for a second. Sora 2 is unreal. The visuals are crisp, the motion is fluid, and it just feels alive. We've been testing it all week and I still can't believe it. It's crazy loud in here, but Sora I Sora 2 on is unreal. Sora 2 is unreal. The visuals are crisp, the motion is fluid, and it just feels alive. We've been testing it all week and I still can't believe it. It's crazy loud in here. Interesting choice of words. Sama is going to become the main character know. that people you make this fine. AI stuff with. We need to talk. That's never good. You made too many cameos with me this month, and after the cake incident, I have to shut down your account. You're kidding, right? It was one cake. One cake that There's ended up still all frosting over the office. In the I said I was sorry. And those cameos were. We need to talk. That's never good. Wow. All right. There's a lot going here, and all right. There's there's a lot going on here. The fact that you can just like create videos of Sam Altman arguing with you, or like whatever story that you want to make up, is is absolutely insane. And uh, he's uh, definitely one of the more popular characters on the app. I wonder if he's going to end up regretting this at some point, just having his likeness be used everywhere. Although I guess it has been used for that this entire time. So, so maybe that's nothing new for him. That's pretty interesting. So if you wanted to create your very own cameo, you would do it like this. As you can see here, we have different cameos. So actual people that we can choose to throw in there here, you can add yours. It seems like you do need the Sora mobile app for iOS to create a cameo. A part of me feels like this was a ploy to sell more iPhones. I'm on a Pixel, which I love, but apparently after this, I have to go to my local Apple store and see if I can pick up an iPhone. Even if you get an invite code, keep in mind that you can't do cameo creation, at least as of right now, unless you have that app on the iOS. Notice that each person, it, it, it's almost like a social network, right? So you have Sama, 504 followers, and I'm assuming there's ways to control 
who can use your likeness. Maybe your friends can, or maybe you can block people. Once you get your account, make sure to follow me on there, Wes Roth. I'm going to be soon building out my Cameo, and I'll probably keep it open so that anybody can use it. I am sure I will regret that decision. And I'm currently generating the first video with Sam Altman. The prompt was Sam Altman is getting angry about his game of Dungeons and Dragons, and he's being very nerdy about some particular rule in the rule book that he feels that is not being followed. Uh, look at the book right here. If you use your reaction to ready a spell, that reaction is spent. Page 193 of the player's handbook. You can't ready fireball and then still cast shield in the same round. It literally says when you take the ready action, you use your reaction to cast the spell. Uh, look at the book right here. If you use your reaction... Look at the book right here. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Sam Altman just posted on his blog, so blog.samaltman.com. So this is a Sora 2, so this posted just a few hours ago saying we are launching a new app called Sora. It's a combination of a new model called Sora 2 and a new product that makes it easy to create, share, and view videos. This feels to many of us like the ChatGPT moment for creativity. And I do feel like that Cameo feature is going to be absolutely huge. There's something great about making it really easy and fast to go from idea to result and the new social dynamics that emerge. Creativity could be about to go through a Cambrian explosion and along with it, the quality of art and entertainment can drastically increase. Even in the very early days of playing with Sora, it's been striking to many of us how open the playing field suddenly feels. In particular, the ability to put yourself and your friends into a video, the team worked very hard on character consistency. With, with the cameo feature, is something we have really enjoyed during testing, and is to many of us a surprisingly compelling new way to connect. One thing to note is that that Ghibli, Ghibli-fi everything moment drove a lot of user acquisition for OpenAI. Same thing with Nano Banana and Gemini. So all the good use cases are fairly obvious. I think this is going to blow up. I'd be surprised if, if, if this was nothing. But, I mean, they're saying we also feel some trepidation. Social media has good effects on the world and bad ones. It could be addictive. And imagine many ways it could be used for bullying. And it's easy to imagine the degenerate case of AI video generation that ends up with all of us being sucked into an RL optimized slop feed. So they put great care into trying to figure out how to make a delightful product that does not fall into that trap. Some of the guardrails they'll have is they'll check back in six months or over the six months, they'll try to optimize for long-term user satisfaction. So just not time spent on the platform or average daily users or whatever, but are the users happy? And if they're not, they're going to be making significant changes. And if they can't fix that issue, they would discontinue offering the service and they're encouraging users to control their feed. So you should be able to tell the AI what you want to see more of, what you don't like. And finally, there's this. This is important because I do feel like this is going to fit into a bigger goal that they've been talking about recently, and that is to help users achieve their long-term goals. We want to understand a user's true goals and help them achieve them. So if you want to get more connection, you can do that. If you want to get fit, you can do that. If you want to start a business, you can do that. And if you truly just want to doom scroll and be angry, then okay, we'll help you with that. Although they don't think that's the best way to spend your time. They don't want to be too paternalistic about what that means to the people. All right. AI slop, whether you love it or hate it, prepare for just an avalanche of it to descend upon your head. But for what it's worth, I am kind of excited about this cameo thing. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. My name is Wes Roth, and I'll see you in the next one.